been a familiar face over the years. A lot of appearances right here on 12 News. Ken Lockwood, well known for his work on Raptor rehabilitation. He died this week after a long illness. Alex Jurgens talked with Ken's wife and others about the legacy his work has had on not taking wildlife for granted. Volunteering and a program about raptors at the Great Plains Nature Center. I just thought that there's something that we should be able to do. Over the years, Ken and Susan Lockwood would expand from just a small flight pen at their home in Wichita to a 20-acre site they called the Eagle Valley Raptor Center. The nonprofit center was dedicated to providing care for birds like eagles, owls, and other birds of prey after an injury or illness. It was something that we were able to do together and we both loved it. They would share their love and knowledge of birds with school kids at garden shows and even seniors. His main thing was they can learn if they're having fun. Ken taught Nate Matthews his ways on how to rehabilitate raptor birds and would set up his own rehabilitation facility. He says Ken dedicated his life to saving birds of prey, knowing how important of a role they play in our environment and was known for his world-class facility. Even the feds, uh, federal government, when they came to inspect his facilities have commented on the, the quality of his enclosures for his animals. The loss of Ken leaves a big hole in local care of raptors, and Nate is hopeful that Eagle Valley will remain open. While there are smaller rehabilitators like Matthews who is willing to take some birds in, the closest to the Lockwood's level of quality is in Johnson County. Down here and, and west of here, uh, there's just not a lot, there's not a lot of rehabbers. In Sedgwick County, Alex Jurgens, 12 News.